then you can measure wavelength, right? Reflection coefficient, you can measure return loss, you can measure. So there are so many parameters which can be used, uh, can be measured with the help of the slotted line. Slotted line, it's a modified form of the rectangular waveguide. So here you can say that this is a rectangular waveguide. So there is a this this line, thin line. It it is nothing but a slit here. And inside through this slit, this is a coaxial cable which is inserted inside. And this part of the coaxial cable is what movable. So by moving this, actually it's a stop. By moving this, you are adjusting the length. So you know that if the length is changed, then the uh, uh, reactance offered by the stub is what change. So by adjusting this height of this coaxial uh, cable, you are actually trying to tune uh, this entire detector to this main guide. Okay, and here crystal detector is there, which is a low frequency diode. So if you are if you are sending a modulated signal. And here, this end is short circuited, so standing wave will get formed. That standing wave is what sends with the help of this coaxial cable. Now, coaxial cable it has got outer conductor and the central words. Central conductor it is what inserted inside the waveguide through this slit, and the outer uh, this cable conductor is what in contact with the waveguide. Okay, so it's because it's a ground. Okay, now uh, this diode detector, if the signal is what modulated AM or FM, so this diode is going to demodulate it and with the help of, you can connect a coaxial cable after this, and that can be given to the measuring instrument, like CRO is there, or VSWR meter is there, and you can measure the uh, desired quantity. Okay, so that's it. Now this uh, particular PPT, you can, uh, I will,